What up guys, Jason Heine here, Emulator Review, back at you with another video, and today I have reached an amazing milestone. I have reached over 1 million views on YouTube, and that is something to be proud of. It's something that I want to thank you guys for. I want to thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs ups and your dedication over the last five years of me being on YouTube. The emulator review has definitely gone through many different phases and growing pains and it's evolved so much and there's so much about it that I want to talk about and I want to I want to just talk about some cool little factoid um, maybe you didn't know facts about the emulator review and its history and also I want to give you guys some free music and stuff too which is really cool so I just want to thank you guys again and I wanted to put together a little video to just do some behind the scenes type stuff and talk about the channel itself uh, in 2009 it's kind of when I really sat down and started to pencil out the early stages of a YouTube channel now I've of course watched the angry video game nerd uh, all of us have and I know we're all inspired by that and, and I think he has pretty much the crown jewel of you know the reason why a lot of us are on YouTube doing video game related things and so I have a lot of credit given to him for that uh, it really kind of sparked the whole thing like hey you know we all can do this you know we, we can be a part of this it's really really cool it was cool to see someone connecting old video games something that we all loved I picked the name the emulator review the EMU review because one it rhymed uh, I know it's kind of lame, but I wanted something that rolled off the tongue really easy, and I also wanted something that wouldn't... I wanted to encompass everything. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna. Be, I wanted to primarily review video games, and I and I knew that I didn't own every video game, and I never will. And so I wanted to just name it that in hopes that I wouldn't be tied down. I could review games that maybe weren't released here in the United States. Maybe they're uh, ROM hacks, or maybe they're games that you know I, I won't ever own, or like stadium events, or this and that. You know, games that are so expensive that I'm never gonna buy, but I could still play them on an emulator, and then in turn review them properly. So I named it that. Hopefully Hopefully encompassing everything. I don't know. I mean, I think about it a lot, and maybe I named it the wrong thing, but I mean, it is what it is, and maybe someday I'll change it. I mean, who knows? But um, that was the concept at the time, five years ago, or six years ago now. Um, so that's what it was. And all I really wanted to do was bring all the different elements of my passions together. So I wanted to bring video gaming together. I wanted to bring my love for music and audio together. I wanted to bring comedy and having fun on camera together. And I wanted to bring um, the whole radio broadcast, uh, pro audio, pro video. Uh, because of the time, if you remember back in that time, everyone was setting up webcams and they were all crummy, dark rooms. Just It, it looked really, really bad and everyone's audio was shit. Of course it was shit. Um, nobody knew about that really at that time. It wasn't a high priority and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna bring all these elements that I love together, but then I'm also gonna give people something new, something that's never been done before. And I do feel like I, I am kind of a pioneer in this. I really brought the first really high quality um, show uh, in terms of audio, presentation, professionalism, and I really, from the very beginning, if you even go look at my very first video on YouTube, which was a review of RC Program, I brought all these elements to you, um, pro sounding uh, broadcast quality audio uh, that was mixed properly and sounds good, levels are great. Um, high definition video, as much as I could at the time on my little MacBook Pro that I had from 2008 or something like that. So I was always trying to take it to the next level even back then. And I feel like there wasn't anyone out there at that time doing what I was doing. And I feel like I'm a pioneer in that and just bringing you that kind of radio broadcast style of show. Um, so that was kind of the early, early stages of it. Um, I never intended to be on camera at all, actually. Uh, not something I wanted to do. I wanted to be behind the scenes, behind the microphone like this. It wasn't about being on camera at that time. It was about just giving you a show, all video from the video games or whatnot and putting that together. So it kind of evolved into that. Ding. Fun factoid, so I wasn't ever really wanting to be on camera, but when I started to hook up with John Gamester81, who also lives here in Arizona, he was like, hey man, we gotta hook up and go to this place called Bookman's, which of course you guys know Bookman's now by watching my channel. He goes, we need to go there, check out the games, and we're gonna have a guy there filming. He had his friend there who was filming at the time, and uh, I wasn't even planning on being on camera, but that was the first time 
I was actually on camera, was with John at Bookman's looking at games, and it was such a really, really cool time. All right, next little factoid. What's interesting about this is I had an intro for my channel. Now, as an artist, you try to do the best you can, put your best foot forward, and do the best content you can produce. I came up with this one minute long uh, intro that featured some video games that I really liked, um, so a, a song that I, I produced that I'll talk about coming up, and it was like a minute long, and I used it for a long time on my channel until people started to complain about it. I'm like, oh my god, just get to the game. And as an artist, you're like, man, I want everyone to like my stuff, but there comes a point where you have to draw the line and say, not everyone's going to like your stuff, and no one's going to want to sit through a one minute long intro on every video that you produce. I had to take a step back and put myself in your shoes and say, you're right, I don't really give a shit about this intro. Cool, I saw it once, it's awesome, but I really don't want to see it. So I took the feedback to heart and I cut the intro down to 30 seconds. I started uploading that, people still bitching about it, still complaining about it, and I realized, oh my god, you're right, okay, it still, it still sucks to be there. Who wants that? I cut it to 15 seconds, still, not, not good enough. It sucked. So at that point, and I only uploaded that just like a, a little bit. At that point, I said, okay, I'm cutting it. So I cut my intro completely. But I, I still thought it was a really cool intro for the time. I look back on it now, and it's not really. <laughs> it's just flashes of video games and stuff trying to come together with really cheesy iMovie 6 transitions. It's, it's really kind of elementary. But I'm going to go ahead and play it for you right here so you can see it. And after seeing that, you obviously hear the music in there, which leads me to the next thing, is that the intro song. So at the time, I was living in Colorado Springs in 2009, and there is a town there called Manitou Springs. They have an amazing penny arcade. Um, I never got any footage of it, but it's incredible. It's it's indoor, outdoor, it's kind of both. It's a really, really cool place. Um, they were holding a competition there at the time where they give you 45 minutes of audio of, of them walking around there with a camera, and you have to take the sounds of all the video games, pinballs, games, this and that, people, clapping, everything, just whatever it is, and create a song out of it. And if the song was good enough, it would then be featured on a compilation CD that uh, the downtown Colorado Springs was doing. I think it was called the Gazette, I believe. I'm not sure if that's right, but the, the local magazine there was putting this on. So I thought, well, I'm an audio guy. That sounds great, right up my alley. So I took a stab at it. I downloaded the 45-minute file, and I created this song completely out of sound effects that were from just some dude walking around with the camera. So there's no instruments at all in this production. It's completely sound effects, which a lot of people don't know and didn't know at the time because it, it does sound kind of like a song, but um, the kicks and claps are from people's feet hitting on DDR. Um, some pinball um, flipper sounds for the snare. Um, I have Donkey... You hear the, the, the pretty much the main melody in there is from Donkey Kong. Um, and uh, I have the guy who says game over on DDR on there uh, for part of the, kind of like a vocal stab in there. There's a, a lot of really, really cool stuff in there. And if you listen to it, you can hear all the different sounds. And I think it was just a really, really cool thing uh, to produce. And it did actually make that soundtrack, which was cool. It did, it did place, I believe, third on there. So I was really, really happy to, to be a part of that. And I wanted to use that for my theme for the emulator review, which I did. Um, I, I put the instrumental on there. But for the album version that made it 
I did rap over it. I put together a couple of verses. I did a little bridge part and had this little kind of intro thing about the Penny Arcade and the sound of quarters of somebody emptying quarters out of a machine. You can hear that. Just really, really cool stuff. So I'm going to let you hear it, but you can also download it. I want to give it to you guys free. I've never released this. This is something for the first time that I'm doing and people have been asking about it every once in a while. Not so much anymore because nobody knows about it, but back when I used to have it on my intro, people would ask about it. So I hope if you're still around, from four or five years ago <laughs> and you still want it here it is so here is the emulator review intro song uh, i just call it game over do, do, do. what penny arcade what I headed right over to Manitou, that's where it is All the fun in the sun while I play All the games, only way this would be better If I found me a date But the day I came to play in Oh yes, I brought my game face I wanna beat the high score in DDR But I'm scrounging through my pockets I'm running out of quarters Game over So I hope you downloaded that and enjoy that. You know, let me know what you think. It's kind of a fun little song. I did that uh, in 2009. Um, okay, the next factoid, bing, is over here. But um, what I decided to do is make a t-shirt. I wanted to do some t-shirts in short run quantities until I actually got down there and realized it's super expensive without going to somebody who can kind of wholesale the shirts and do some of the art at a low cost. And so I realized that it's kind of not possible. So in 2010, I went down to a shop locally here in Arizona and had a one-off shirt made. And I paid a guy about $70 for this shirt. And what's interesting about it is, well, first of all, I've been wearing it. I used to wear it to conventions uh, and shows. I'd wear it online. And it's a really cool shirt. It's a really nice uh, American apparel. It's really soft. It's very durable. I mean, it is held through the years. I mean, it, it isn't chipping, cracking, nothing. It's perfect. 
Um, I mean, I've pitted the shit out of this shirt. I've worn it so much, I should have wore an undershirt with it, but it's totally pitted out. Um, so I'm probably going to have to cut it off, make it like a muscle shirt or something, and use it for when I drum or something, which kind of sucks. I didn't really think about that, so I'm pissed off about that. But what's interesting is, you know, it's got my the name on there and logo and stuff, and I, I thought, what better represents the retro gamers than the Atari 2600 joystick? And I believe it does. But what's interesting about this is I went with the Atari 2600 joystick. I've never reviewed an Atari 2600 game. <laughs> so that is really interesting. And so... It just doesn't really fit, you know, it doesn't really work. I mean, down the road, I'm gonna come up with some shirts. I have some stuff in the pipeline for new shirts with, with all sorts of new stuff. But, um, you know, from there, uh, I just wanted to show it. There was one shirt made and um, you may have seen it in some videos here and there, but uh, it's pretty much toast at this point. I mean, who, who wants to wear a pitted out black t-shirt, you know? It's not really happening, so uh, that's really cool. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I wanted to just put something together and let you guys know that um, I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. Um, I, I've done so many things in the last five years, and you guys have allowed me to do so many things with your support and dedication. I don't even know where to start. I mean, there's so much stuff between uh, my website, HineyHouseEntertainment.com, which I did launch last year. Uh, last year, I also launched a Patreon campaign, which is doing very well. Um, I do all sorts of behind the scenes stuff there as well and give people content. All Gen Gamers has gone through lots of different phases and uh, there's some really cool things happening there. There's always cool stuff happening there. I've done, I've started doing the thrifting videos with staff. I mean, like right now, my mind is going crazy with all the cool stuff. Audio for video games I'm, I got into, big part in be putting myself online and getting out there and, and breaking down doors and not taking no for an answer and just letting people know that we all can have a piece of this and we can be a part of something better than ourselves. And that's what it's been all about for me. It's just put yourself out there, be a part of something greater and put your best foot forward and be as professional as you can. I think as long as we keep that in mind and stay positive and support each other, and just be a friend because uh, there's so much negativity in this world and there's even more negativity online you know it's all right <laughs> it's all right you know that's really what this video is about is i want you guys to know that i appreciate you and thank you so much for all your time and i hope to, to have you stick around for a very long time for as long as we keep this channel alive and and we do it um for as long as we can <laughs> so all right i'm gonna cut this off i don't want to get emotional on you you know but you guys are awesome. Appreciate it. And have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.